creative world welcome back to the channel my name is Weber Ponti, and today we're gonna check out this awesome pool that I painted with my girlfriend and our friend sketch but before we get too far into it you're probably wondering how does someone even get the opportunity to paint a pool like this a few months ago someone drove by this mural that I painted with sketch they loved it so much that they asked me if I'd be interested in painting their pool. And of course, I said yes. But when I met the client, I recognized him. And I, I knew that I had seen him somewhere. And then I remembered. We just found the coolest person at the festival. I think we could be brothers. I don't know. When we showed up the first day, we were over the moon excited about painting this pool, but boy did we underestimate how challenging it was gonna be. The first challenge was getting the pool ready for paint. It had rained the day before, so there was leaves and water everywhere, which made the pool super slippery and kind of dangerous to be honest. Thankfully, John had a broom and a couple of towels lying around, which made the job super easy. And once the pool was dry, it was ready to start outlining. Drawing the first couple of lines was the moment I realized how big an undertaking this project was actually going to be. I had no idea we'd have to be hanging upside down just to sketch the design. Sketching the design took us about two and a half hours. And when the three of us were standing in the deep end surrounded by the artwork, we got so hyped, we couldn't wait to fill in the shapes with color. We painted for a couple of hours, but unfortunately it started to rain, so we were forced to cover the pool and call it quits early. All right, it's day two. The pool is clean, the pool is dry, so there's only one thing left to do. And that's to skate it, baby. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler has a ton of yagi, her brain fried. My lady papa zenny, I don't lady popping molly, why she waiting on me? Yogi in my area, yogi in my area. Keep on heading if you want, I drive it like a man. I don't wanna hear you, just in time, you know, like I'm bango, cutting my hair. I just keep going though, so she's gonna make my flight non stop. Tell you, it's a new York, put on with a hop on, drive out the white bars. I got really lucky because I had full creative control of this project. The only request that John and his wife made was that they wanted the pool to be super colorful. I was inspired to create a fountain of youth. This design needed to be rejuvenating, something stimulating and playful. My goal was for you to feel like a kid again, to be present, carefree and filled with joy. And it's nighttime. Do you like it so far? Yeah, I love it. I feel like it's really beautiful. It's so vibrant. I mean, look at it in the dark. It looks sick. I can't show them yet. Oh, show them that. It looks like it's glowing. No, right, we can't show them yet. They, they can only see it at the end. Oh, okay. Well, this is the book that <laughs> We made it to the shallow end. We have a floodlight. And we're going to keep going until the whole thing is done. Or until we run out of paint. With every big project, there's always a moment where I need to dig really deep to find the energy to keep going. My body could be sore, my mind could be exhausted, and that's when I need to remind myself of the big vision so I can find the motivation and just keep moving forward. And it's day three of painting this mural. We still have a good amount of work to do, but we'll definitely finish it today. Today, I'm gonna start with the Do You Boo Boo. This is one of the things I'm most excited about for obvious reasons. And Jess is gonna do the stare. <coughs> and right now we have just enough paint to just do those two pieces. And then we're gonna have to go to the store and get more paint. So let's make it count. This 
Zero has been such an awesome project to work on because it's just been a boot camp for learning how to just do graffiti artwork and how to use spray cans. I come from a background where I use spray paint a lot for like painting sculptures and painting objects. And the technique for that is very different than from doing fills on a wall like this. Usually when I'm spray painting like an object, I would just spray paint it like that, like really randomly and just try to fill it in. But watching Sketch, I learned that there's like, wow, there's a technique to actually filling a solid color like that and for it to looking good, which essentially is you do an outline and then you make the outline a little thicker and then you go side to side. And it really didn't click for me until just watching him paint. So this mural has been a huge learning experience. And in a little bit, we're gonna do the outline, which is gonna be another boot camp because there's so many lines that we have to, to make here. So super excited. I can see the finish line. We're almost there. Let's keep painting. done only one more shape to fill in before we can start doing the outline so Jessica and I are going to double team this last shape and after that we'll outline add some shadows and then we got a, a small little surprise that we're gonna add to the project so let's finish this baby up <laughs> All right, Sketch just showed up. Yo, yo. Jess and I just finished the big piece. Unfortunately, my um, camera didn't work and overheated and you didn't get that part. But now we're about to start outlining and we can almost call it done. So, you ready? Oh yeah, we're about to get to it, baby. All right, let's make it happen, baby. <laughs> is always my favorite part of every mural because this is where you see the biggest transformation and with this project i got a lot of practice and was really able to improve my outlining skills you proud of us i'm very proud of you guys we've been learning man we had a good teacher that's all we needed wearing this mask really takes a toll on the curls so here's a progress sketch pretty much finished the outline we have just a tiny bit more to do and in the meantime i don't want to show you too much in the meantime we are going to paint the slide i think i'm just going to do like crazy little drips like colorful drips coming down that entire thing i already prepped it it was all crusty had all these like little barnacle things on it i sanded it down so uh <laughs> this job for four days painting this pool first day we cleaned it and we outlined it the second day we added color the third day we added color and finalized the details and then it rained a bunch now we're back and we're about to finish it with adding a final layer of epoxy and today we're going to be using the olympic pool clear epoxy to finish off the job 
once we add the first coat of epoxy, we wait four hours and add the last coat. And then it's got to cure for a couple of days and then we can add water and dive in. The epoxy we use is a typical pool grade epoxy used in normal pool applications. So it should protect our artwork from the water and chlorine for years to come. One eternity later. world it's a nice beautiful day and it's time to see the pool in its full glory we spent four days painting this pool and now we're finally getting to see it full circle so without further ado here is the fountain of youth When the opportunity came to design this pool, I knew that the water was going to have some effect on the artwork. So I wanted to create something that would actually emphasize that and make that effect even better. Essentially become the artwork and the way that the water creates reflections and shadows at the bottom of the pool. The whole thing becomes a, a single piece of artwork. I honestly couldn't have imagined this turning out any better than it did. What do you think? I love it. It's so cool with the water in it. I couldn't stop staring at it. Because there's so much movement in the water right now, it's just all like a blur. I wonder what it looks like when no one's here and the water's like calm and still like moving uh, it just a little bit. Then I'm curious to see what it looks like underwater. We haven't even gone in yet. Well, there's only one thing left to do. It's time to dive in. Thank you so much Creative World for checking out today's video. If you loved it, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe for more awesome videos like this. And until next time, never stop creating.